with a flair. <laughs> and welcome back. And what better introduction do we need than uh, hearing them in action? We'll have Stephanie join us uh, in front. And, uh, and we'll do a little bit of introduction. So we'll have everybody just say your name and the instrument that you play. So we'll just pass it along. Yeah. Okay. Hi, my name is Cindy Burgos, and I play first violin. Mm -hmm. Hello, my name is Natalia Henderson, and I play violin. <laughs> my, play <laughs> <bad>. <laughs> my name is Maria, and I play violin. My name is Carl Chan, and I play second violin. Hi, my name is Khadija Usher, and I play second violin. Okay. Hello, my name is Chelsea Thompson, I play viola. Hi, my name is Anselma Jones, and I play viola. My name is Sian Richards, and I play the double bass. Christopher DeShield, and double bass as well. Philip DeShield, cello. I'm Bryce Young, and I play cello as well. Okay, there you have it. So, uh, of course, we want to say thank you all for being here this morning and starting off the day with uh, some beautiful music. Let's uh, start off, Stephanie, by just talking a bit about the program of Music. Well, Kalodi School of Music has been in existence for 50 years. Mm -hmm. It started off with just singing and piano, and in 1983, they started doing the violins. So that's when it really took off. And I think we've... I think about over 5,000 to, 5, to 6,000 students have passed through Paloti School of Music since then. And um, we offer quite a bit of instruments. Uh, we tell, uh, the ones here, and we also do trumpet, a flute, of course, and voice and guitar. We added those two in this year. Okay. So, yes. Now, it's interesting because uh, you say the students that have passed through and so many of the people I see here, we've seen before uh, and have stayed, not, not in a bad way. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there is a love for the music. There Besides having a, a professional passion. career on the side, uh, you've still been able to retain a lot of the members. Yes. Um, talk about what you have found in terms of the younger people coming up and uh, whether or not there's more of an interest or uh, it, it just seems to be for a selected few? No, it, there is quite a bit of interest out there, actually. Mm -hmm. And um, we're trying to instill in the kids the, the importance of music yeah. and what it can do for the mind and, and the soul, of course. Mm -hmm. So, yes. Well, we know, Cindy, you've been with the Palati School of Music for quite a while. Tell us about the experience as it, as it relates to practicing and the hours that you have to put in for people who are interested in probably joining the, this school? Well, um, to me, playing the violin, it's, um, it's always been a pleasure for me to play the violin. The moment I picked it up, I knew I wanted to do the violin. Um, so uh, people always ask me, like, is it hard to learn or easy to learn? Well, it depends on you. If you, if you practice a lot and you put in your hours, like any other art, art form. If you put in your hours, you'll get a good result. So, um, yeah. Okay. And, uh, and uh, for the persons who are interested or are still not sure about whether to join the, the school, what would you, how would you encourage them to, to take that leap? Well, I always <laughs> tell people age is nothing but a number. So, <laughs> if you're old, we have some older um, students. Um, so, we do take Oh, you just people. need more experience. <laughs> more experience. <laughs> yes. So, um, and we take kids as young, as, well, I take kids as young mm -hmm. as three. Mm -hmm. So, we're, we're basically, whatever age you think you feel like you want to learn to play, mm -hmm. we invite you to come over, check out our schedule, check out what instruments do we have, and see what you like. Sounds good. Now, there's definitely been more opportunities in terms of being able to expose yourself uh, when it comes to the different instruments that you play. Cindy, for example, we know you've traveled with uh, the Youth Orchestra of the Americas. Uh, you have mm -hmm. attended uh, Trinidad, training in Trinidad. Um, and I believe you had said you started at a very late age as well in, in music. So there are so many examples to be able to use to show how uh, having a career in music or even being able to grow beyond uh, just learning how to play the basics. Yes. Yeah. Uh, how do you take those examples and ensure that uh, other people use it as motivation to keep on going with the path that they're passionate about? Well, as you can see, I think four of us are music teachers here and the rest 
are either doctors, uh -huh. engineers, etc. So um, once you're in the field of music and you play, especially if you play, yeah. you get that sense of fulfillment. And well, for me, I'm very passionate about my music. Yeah. I haven't put From it down. From you like that. Yes. Yes, yes, I it. remember. <laughs> I haven't put it down. And I think once, once it's in there, you can't get it out. Yeah. Do you force your kids to be able to pick up an instrument? I don't force them. <laughs> but they but love they it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It's yeah. an implied force. Yeah. I mean, they're around music all day long. So it's mommy's like exposure, mm -hmm. yeah. 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 got to go choir practice, this practice, yeah. that practice. So they're, they're exposed to it. I love that you've added voice training now. How yes. is that going? Oh, that's going well. Yeah. Yes. Because yeah. people, a lot of people are very interested in singing. Mm -hmm. And of course, they want to train their voice mm -hmm. to do it properly. Yeah. So okay. a lot of little kids have been joining in the training, actually. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, so tell us a bit about the concert. What, what can the public expect? Yes. Oh, wow. OK, so we're playing from all periods. OK. Ah. Yes, and we're, we, we're jazzing up some of the pieces. Okay. And we do have our young ones. Um, playing um <laughs> chelsea's young ones cindy's your students all your students are playing okay. we are the seniors <laughs> <laughs> they don't like that term but we have several ensembles playing yes uh, this is project orchestra okay. okay so this is one of Everybody the here. yes yes and then um we have a viola ensemble we have some other ensembles so there's quite a bit available we also have um richard he brought he's gonna bring his wind ensemble oh okay yes so so it's gonna be nice. listen, this is, and Jamie said it earlier mm. in the show, this is a signature event around Christmas time. Yes. People look forward to it. And you guys put a substantial amount of time in preparing a bit. for it. <laughs> Tell us about that part. Because uh, when you talk about training, uh, different ensembles, obviously some of the training is taking place separately. Right. Yes. But do you get the opportunity to have all the performers uh, prepare for the concert or yes. in one room for the concert? Yes, um, the teachers are working very hard. They work really hard with their kids. Yeah. And they, I know they go home and practice for their parents. And um, every week I send gentle reminders. <laughs> are they gentle? <laughs> yeah, they're very gentle. <laughs> she hands her head when she says gentle. <laughs> um, but they do come and they show an interest and they're very much into it. Yeah. And um, I, I, I'm proud of them. Well, can I ask <laughs> how how important or regarded at all is the integration of modern uh, music in the pieces that you guys perform? Well, it's important to show that yes, we do embrace modern music. Okay. I mean, maybe not all are, no. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but it can be embraced, and it is important. It is a part of our music culture, okay. so we do have modern pieces and our Belizean music as well. So. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, of course, the concert, when is it going to be and where can people get tickets? All right, you can get tickets at Palotti School of Music yes. or at The Bliss. It will be mm -hmm. this Sunday, December 11th at 6 p.m. Okay, and uh, this is a fundraiser for you guys to kind of keep your program going? Yes, because yeah. yes. we do need some more instruments. and We're bursting at the seams. We have eight teachers now. And oh. yes, so it's and students, cool. yeah, it's it's exciting. And so um, some days I think if I find the viola group in the corridor practicing because <laughs> there's no more space inside. So you know what that means? It's time we for need to the official expand. school yes. of music. Yes. So you got to support the concert so they can Please. have that money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. And uh, just tell us a little bit of what people can expect. Yeah. We know be beautiful music, but what type of music? Uh, Baroque, classical, modern, romantic, yes, jazz. Funk. Gotta bring the funk. Oh yeah, that was quite a journey, but you got it. You gotta bring the funk. Yeah, we gotta bring the funk. And a full-fledged performance mode from you guys yes. as well. We know you put on a fantastic show. Thank you. And then in the end, we're gonna have a big finish with Dr. Colville's old-fashioned Christmas. So. Ah, oh, that's perfect. You yeah, gotta come all now. come on the stage together. Okay, okay, so the show takes place this Sunday. Yes. 6 p.m. you said? 6 p.m. At Bliss. the Bliss. Get your tickets early. Mm -hmm. uh, I know some of the parents are trying to sell them and you yes. can get them at Palote School of Music. Or any yeah. of us. Or yeah. any of them. <laughs> you see someone in the street, yeah. <laughs> all right, them. so you're gonna have a closing piece yeah. for us, right? Yes, sure. Okay. okay, so what is it going to be? 
Uh, it's gonna be a fandango, and here you have your tickets too. Ooh, thank you. Okay, oh, you're thank welcome. you. <laughs> All right. So for a night of beautiful music, you definitely want to head out to the Bliss on Sunday. The tickets are twenty dollars for adults, ten dollars for children. It is the perfect way to start off the Christmas season. Get your tickets and uh, take the whole family and enjoy the show. We're gonna leave them now. This is Project Orchestra, I believe yeah, you yeah. said, which is a portion of the Pelota School of Music, and they're gonna have their closing performance, and we'll go to a break and come back after with our wrap up. Okay.